breaking news. Biafra will exit Nigeria peaceful or by war. Simeon Ekpa. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you have not subscribed, please kindly do. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. May God bless you all. Simeon Ekpa issued the warning on his Twitter page saying, Biafra will be cutting peaceful or by war. Simeon Ekpa, the Finland-based self-acclaimed disciple of Namdekano, has issued a warning to the federal government. In his latest Twitter post, Ekpa vowed that Biafra will be gotten either peaceful or by war. He made the submission after he had last week declared five-day seat at home in the southeast, which was condemned by the indigenous people of Biafra. His tweet read, You can cry on social media. Call Finland Embassy. Call anybody you want to call. You can cry from now till next year. Our focus is to make sure Biafra exit Nigeria in 2023, either peaceful, by war, or by any means necessary. Your politically motivated cry will end on newspaper, he said. And this have got Nigerians talking. Coward, you hide in Finland, you collect money from politicians, and send your talks to terrorize people here in Southeast and claim you are doing that for Biafra. You are not a member of IPOP, but a demonic thief worker with the Fulani terrorist killers to terrorize the Igbos. Your day will come when you pay for all the innocent Igbos who died and suffered at your hands. This criminal, you will not run out from God's judgment. These are reactions by Nigerians. Hope you will be around when it starts. Okay, someone said, if you want to represent and speak for Biafra, come to live in Nigeria. Habio, you are right. We don't like Igbos. We are not going to like them. Oh, yes, brother, come home. Ojuku led the war here. Finland is far. You won't hear the siren or bomb explosions. Please come home. You better come home and let's begin. The only Biafra that we exit was during Ojuku and eventually it, it fails. All the other dictators are hungry fools trying to brainwash innocent people into their untimely death. I pray may whoever call for war should be consumed by that war. It is high time we learn from our mistakes. Boko Arambori's bandits, unknown gunmen, are all created by some bloody, tasty politicians who means nowhere to the common man and the woman. Okay. Can this man be arrested? Someone asked. Yes, so now come home. Someone said, Iqbal in war. Ordinary Boko Haram bandit Iswap, they stayed in Nigeria. You coward taking refuge refuge in Finland, calling war. Mumu person will not get liver. Be a man like them, Tom Polo. Okay? Come to the creek. Come down to the creek. Most of those people shouting war, war, war are not residing in Nigeria. They are only creating problems for other people. How Simeon Ekba be in the comfort of his home in Finland and is causing the death of innocent young men here in Nigeria. Anyone supporting him and his ideology is a foolish person and needs to go for brain examination. You can come and attack me as you want. I don't care. You can't be blind and still follow blind people. We Ibu, do we even love ourselves? The answer is simple no. No simple love. We keep blaming Northerners. Why we are our own problems? What do we care? Only for our personal interest. If it's not going to be me, then unknown person should be instead of my brother or sister. Is only a jobless and senseless person will be proud of killing his blood. May God open our eyes to see this. Okay, guys, these are 
reactions by Nigerians. As you can see, these reactions is coming mostly from the Southeasterners. Some are saying that uh, the Finland based Simeon Iqbal should come down to, to Nigeria and come and declare war, come and lead the war front. Since he said Biafra land can only be, you know, uh, actualized by by war or peaceful and all that. That he should come back to Nigeria to come and fight the war. He's only coward that, that stay outside the country, you know, and fight a fight. Understand? Record that the Simeon Ekba issued warning on his Twitter page saying Biafra will be gotten peaceful or by war. The, the Finland based Simon uh, self acclaimed disciple of Nam Dekano has issued a warning to the federal government of Nigeria. In his latest Twitter post, Igba vowed that Biafra will be gotten either peaceful or by war. He made the submission after he had last week declared five days sit at home in the southeast, which was condemned by the indigenous people of Biafra in his tweet. You can cry on social media. Call Fameland Embassy. Call anybody you want to call. You can cry from now till next year. Our focus is to make sure Biafra is in Nigeria in 2023. Either peaceful, by war, or by any means necessary. Your politically motivated cry will end on newspaper, he said. So my people, when I see the Wala one day grand now, what do you think concerning this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment. Thank you.